In this video, we'll be using for loops to get multiple user input. We'll start off by declaring an array of characters using the char data type, and we'll call this um, variable name. I will indicate that it's an array using the square brackets, and we specify the size, let's say 30 characters. We then ask the user to enter their name. Let's print a message to the user using printf. Please enter your name. Then we get entry from the user using the scanf function. And we need to specify what sort of entry we are getting. So we can use the string format specifier to indicate that we are receiving a string. So let's copy that, put that in double quotes. And then here we would just need to put whatever is uh, retrieved from the user into our array. All right. Now the, this array, actually, this is a variable where it points to the first element of the array. So that's that's the address of the first element in our array. Next, we print out the name of the user using the printf function. Mm, maybe tab. Now here we can give a message welcome. We then want to specify what sort of variable we're going to display, which is going to be a string. And then we will after finishing off with our string, specify what our string will be, which is the main variable. Let's compile this and make sure we have no issues before we move any forward. Okay, let's run it. Test. Welcome. Good, it's working so far. Next, we declare two integer variables and a double. So we'll, our first integer is a number. And then we have a double for our sum. Give it a value of zero and we'll declare i as well. Next, we want to loop four times, so we'll use a for loop for i is equal to zero. So we've already declared i at the top here. i is less than four. That's how many times we want to run the loop. And we increment by one at each round. Let's close off our bracket at the end. We ask the user to enter a number using print F again, we say enter a number. All right. I'd like to run this just to make sure I haven't got any issues so far. Good. And um, so notice how we have enter number is displayed four times, but we'd like a new line there. So I need to put a new line um, right here. So backslash N. And then, and then we'll see how that goes. And get entry from the user using the scanf function. So let's copy that and put it in here. Now here we are working with uh, the with an integer, so we'll use the format specifier for for the integer, which was percentage d. And here we indicate that we are working with an integer. And then what we want to do is we want to store whatever entry we got from the user into the memory address of the variable number. So that's our variable number, but to indicate that this is going to be stored into the memory address, we use the and or the ampersand. All right. Next, we want to add sum to, uh, sorry, add number to sum. So we started off with a value of zero, but then we say, in addition to that, add a number. This is this can be rewritten such that it's shorter, like this. <clears throat> now let's compile and make sure we haven't got any issues there. This is our first number, our second number, and our third number. Okay, so it's looking good. Next, we declare a double to store the average. So let's call this average. Let's calculate the average. So the average is equal to sum divided by four. And then let's display the average to the user using printf. The average is, and then we wanna use, we wanna send out the output. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a decimal, oh, sorry, it's a float and to two decimal places. 
sorry, I think I put a dollar sign instead of percentage. Now here we indicate that it's a float. And then we have to say where is our double value, semicolon. And let's compile and see how this works. And run. One, two, three, and four. So that gives us our total uh, rounded to two decimal places. So I hope this video has helped you and I'll see you in the next ones.